Howard, clinical hypnotist and owner of Luke Gnosis Hypnosis here. And I'm with one of my lovely clients, Tina. And Tina wants to tell you a little bit about the work we've been done doing so far, the success we're having. So I'm going to ask Tina some questions and she's going to let you know about the success we've had so far in me helping her overcome some of the challenges you might see me from time to time looking at my cell phone i'm not texting the hypnopexy i've just got some questions that i want to make sure that i ask tina so tina how you doing i'm doing pretty good right now i you really good. am yeah thank you how are you doing good thank you what what made you originally book me i you know what i was at my wits end because i've tried everything I had so many issues and the base, the, the, the main issue was my pain. I, um, I have fibromyalgia. I was, di well, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I've also got vertigo. Um, and it's been for the past 10 years. So I've seen every doctor I've gone to, um, I, I've done acupuncture, I've done cupping along with acupuncture, I've done physiotherapy for many years, uh, I've been on every medication possible, um, and they gave me nothing but side effects and nothing else. They weren't able to help me, so you were my last resort. <laughs> mm. Yeah. What what was happening in your life around about the time you decided to come do some work with me? I was just uh, basically just existing. Like I, I just couldn't even get out of bed. Wow. I couldn't get I couldn't get out of bed. Um, um, my my migraines had uh, had gotten so bad. Um, I, I was just in a dark room. I, I've got a lovely bedroom, but, you know, I was just enjoying my room with my, my dogs. Now I've got a little bird, a fish, but that was it. And I wasn't seeing, I was still speaking with friends on the phone and, uh, and to other family members, but it was very few and far between. And the quality of life is just not there. Wow. You know? it, explain to me in DL what your problem, what your problem was when you originally came to see me, what we worked on. Okay. We worked on my pain, first of all. I and mean, was my, pain for what specifically? Pain for fibromyalgia. Yeah. yeah which was everywhere and i still like i'm not saying that it's completely gone because i do wake up um i wake up mornings um where i do experience it and then i use the tools that you gave me like i did this morning yeah i was like i was gonna cancel our appointment yeah. but i used the tools that you gave me and i was able to um to come through it so it was the pain, it was anxiety, it was um, the migraines, um, social anxiety, because I'd go into a store with my husband, and sometimes my pain would get so bad that I would start to cry. It was that bad. Um, and people would look at me as if, you know, what's wrong with her? Right, because looking at me, you'd think, "Oh, this lady, you know, there's nothing wrong with her, right?" Because obviously, with autoimmune diseases, it's on the inside, right? It's not on the outside. Um, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, we worked on um, my trauma, my childhood trauma, um, which was, you know what. I was over it. I really was. But every now and then, something triggers it. And you were able to just help me get rid of that evil 
I don't know, spirit or evil thing that was hanging over me. And I know it wasn't my fault. I know none of it was my fault. But you helped me through it. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, now you said that sometimes you wake up and you have sometimes have the symptoms of fibromyalgia. Like this morning, you woke up, you felt the symptoms. Then you did some of the techniques that I taught you and said, uh -huh. what, what, ha what happens after you do like these short techniques? What happened to the symptoms of your pain and, and fibromyalgia? They, the pain went down considerably. And after a while, Okay, people that are going to hear this are going to think I'm crazy, but I heard you in my head, okay? And you're like, Tina, just continue with it. Just be patient and continue. Just do it over. And that's what happened. I ended up doing the exercise three times. I did, and... I'm telling you, I can move my hands without any pain. My feet have no pain at all. I can walk with my, no pain, right? Yeah. So, you know what? Thank you, Luke. Honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart. No, thank you for, for doing the work, for understanding it, for being committed to do it, to realizing you've had a lot of these things for a long time. And yeah. it takes a little bit of time, not nearly as much as most people think to get yeah. there, but it takes a bit more time. You, yeah. yeah, and sorry, if I can just add, and that's the thing also, like, this is something that people have to work on. Like, you give us the tools, but it's important for us to work on ourselves, like, to do these things ourselves. Like, sometimes I'll find myself tapping, you know, doing some tapping or or just doing some of the exercises over. Like, I was list I couldn't fall asleep the other night. Mm. And so I did some of the techniques that we worked on. And it was beautiful. I was able to fall asleep. Yeah. Wow. And by the way, if I can just add, I've had insomnia for over 30 years. And you helped me out with that too. That's amazing. Um, yeah. You, you touched upon it a little bit at the beginning. But, but yes. what other stuff had you done to try and deal with these ailments, the, the fibromyalgia, the trauma, the sleep and the pain? What other things that you've tried in the past to try and fix? Oh, oh I've tried. OK, besides besides the uh, physiotherapy, besides my medical doctors, besides uh, a neurologist, mm. um a rheumatologist that was totally useless and she was a specialist from New York, totally useless. Uh, I've tried every drug on the market. Also, I was taking CBD oil because I'm not a smoker, right? And I've tried, I've tried, okay, I don't care if people know. I've tried weed, you know, smoking it. But that's not for me. I'm just not a smoker because I can feel my lungs. You know, I when I was younger than in high school, I smoked briefly, right, for a couple of few weeks. And then I went to the doctor. I'm like, doc, something's wrong. I'm having problems breathing. And he's like, well, what have you been doing differently? I'm like, well, I started smoking a few weeks ago. And he's like, you got to quit. And I'm like, oh, okay, I hear you. So I quit smoking and then my breathing got better and stuff like that, right? Mm. But same thing with the weeds. I can't do that. So I was taking CBD oil, edibles, chocolate, you name it, um, on a daily basis, right? And I was spending hundreds of dollars each month on that stuff. Yeah. 
And so now I don't take it. Wow. I don't take it. How'd you you know, I, I have some at home, mm -hmm. but you know, I, my daughter's experiencing the same symptoms that I have. Um, and you know, she'll say, you know, can I have one or two chocolates? And I'm like, go ahead, you know, just to get her to sleep. But I've also told her, I said, listen to my techniques, the ones that I use to get me to sleep. And so, you know, she's kind of skeptical the way I was, you know, Luke, yeah. you got to admit, I was skeptical at first that it that would. brings me on to my next question. What were your yeah. thoughts about hypnosis, about co coaching, about all the crazy stuff that, that, that I do? What were your thoughts about it before we started to work? Okay. You know that I have trouble trusting people and trusting, trusting things, mostly people. Right. So it was hard for me to to actually believe that this would actually work for me. But I swear you were warm and kind and patient and understanding. And you just you made me feel so comfortable. That. I swear I can trust you. It's like you're a brother, you know. It's like your brother that that that's helped me through stuff. Yeah. You know? And so after a while, like after just speaking with you the very first time, I could tell through you know, your personality, you're just such a nice guy. You know, and um but don't say that too loud. I have a bad ass <laughs> reputation to maintain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're so sweet <laughs> but honestly you are such a sweetheart and you know I honestly I trust you and you made me feel so comfortable that um that I I really was able to trust you and yeah. I, I I was able to listen to to your suggestions and your um you know even though i didn't really think at first that they'd be able to help me i'm you know you're like tina close your eyes and let's do this pretend this and let's do that or whatever right even though i didn't think that it would help me at first i'm thinking you know what it's luke he knows what he's doing you know just go with it and I did. And that's why, Luke, we didn't just stop at our first session. How long has it been since I've been seeing you? Yeah, we, we, we originally did three sessions, right? Dealt with dealt with the yeah. main issue that you came in with. And then, then you're like, hey, I'd like to check in once a month and um, keep the train on the track, so to speak. And yeah. And you think like life that gets... And we've been continuing month. now for what? How long? Look, Six months now? It's a bit, I think a little bit less, but probably a little bit months, something like that. Yeah, we check okay, in. Okay, four months. Thing. Yeah, you might but, be right. I can't exactly. But I'm telling you, it. Yeah, I, I just, you know, I've got brain fog too, so it's hard to, to, you know. But I feel like I've known you a long time, you know. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just the feeling that, you know, it's just the feeling that I get, right? Um, yeah. but yeah. So, so the the actual experience of the techniques and stuff that we were doing when we when we're working together, how would you describe some yes. of the stuff that the actual stuff that we did, the stuff that we did, and your experience of us actually working together using all these hypnotic tools? How would you describe your experience of all of that? Being a skeptic coming in, like you said, with trust issues. You know what. Okay, with with uh, um, with some of the things, you just have to go with it, okay? Even if, you know, even if I didn't believe that that it would work, like at first when you're when you're like, oh, t okay, Tina, pretend that whatever, pretend that you're over here, pretend that you're in a room full of smoke. And 
I'm like, oh my God, that's going to seem like really uncomfortable, right? Because I have breathing issues, right? But I did it because I figured, you know what? You're not going to put me in a situation where I'm not comfortable. And I figure if I don't do it, you know, what, I, but I figure what's the worst that can happen? You'll just say, Tina, open your eyes or come out of it or whatever, right? You won't make me feel uncomfortable for too long, right? And that's why it's the trust that, that I felt, right, that I was able to build with you. And that's why I, I just went with it. I know some of the things seemed, um, seemed weird, so like having to go above my body, you know, um, having to shoot myself across the room, like in my, in, in my head, right? But you know what? It's gotten me through a lot of tough times. Wow. It has. Yeah. And when, when, once we finished our first original sessions, our first three dealt with the chunk of stuff that you originally came into, I came in for, yes. say, how did you feel? Like with, with the symptoms, how did you feel after we, we did all that work? You know what? I honestly, I had to, um, I felt great. I felt lighter. Yeah, I, I did. I felt lighter. I felt, um, I felt more calm. Um, but I also had to repeat those exercises. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did because, like you said, you have to do the work, right? Yeah. You gave me, the, you gave me the tools, and I did the work. I, I really did. Like you did, you did wonders, but we also have to do the work ourselves and that's what it is with hypnosis you have to the tools are given to you but you have to do uh, some of the work mm. you know yeah. and it has to be like um it's it's a lot of things are magic like when you told me uh certain things you know i just stuck that in my head it's like it just it was ingrained in my head you know and you're like tina listen to me you do not have blah 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 and i'm like oh. you know what he's right he's right because i'm thinking if he wasn't right all these pills would have worked for me all all these doctors' uh, um, suggestions would have worked for me. All these um, physiotherapy appointments I went to for years would have done it for me, right? So I knew. Mm. I knew you were right. You knew, yeah. Yeah. Where you are at your life now, what, what are you most looking forward to now you've made these changes? going out going out honestly um i saw my mom a few weeks ago and my brother um i'm looking forward to going to the movies and out for dinner with my husband so our anniversary uh is next week so happy anniversary. 23 years wow thank you yeah, 23 years. Well, we've been together 24, but anyway. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, like I've put so many, many things on hold. And I figure, okay, he's like, I know you haven't been to the movies in years. But such and such, I don't know if one of the superhero movies is coming out. The Flash? Whatever. Is it The Flash? Yes. Ah, how did I know? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I'm a hypnotist, but sometimes I'm a psychic. 
<laughs> I'm probably a big fan too. Because right? Batman's <laughs> in it. That's why, isn't it? Because Michael yeah. Keaton coming back as Batman. Yeah, that's right. That's Michael right. Keaton's in it. That's right. He told me he says Michael Keaton's in it. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Because uh, they went to see um, Spider Man. They went to see Spider Man the other night, and it was a cartoon one. Oh, okay, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, thanks, but no thanks. I'll pass. You know, and it was a late one, and I like to be in bed by a certain time. But I said, I'll go with you on Friday, and, you know, we'll give it a shot. And I said, if I don't feel too bad, I said, we'll see about dinner. Because the Manual Life Center is up there. Okay. And figure I like the top of the Manual Life Center has a nice restaurant. Nice. Um, in case you haven't been there before. But anyway... Cool. This is Toronto people. Yeah. Toronto. So, um, yeah, go ahead. Um, but you've helped me out so much. I'm looking forward to going out and seeing how I'm going to feel. Um, I know I'm going to have a bit of anxiety. Hmm. But, um, you know, I'm really excited about trying it out. Hmm. And I'm going to try to do my relaxation techniques and all that prior to going out so that, um, so that I can have a good experience. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What would you say to people that have issues in their life, whether they be mental, emotional, physical, they know they've got an issue, but they keep putting it off. They keep putting it off. They keep putting it off and doing nothing about it. What would you say to those people that are watching this? I've done that before. I've done that before. I've been through a lot of uh, bad stuff in my life. And I put it off. I didn't get any help for it. Um, and then it manages to creep into your life either in your thoughts through flashbacks or through physical pain and you're wondering why is the pain there? Why am I feeling like this? So what I say is get control of it now. You know, if you feel like you have a problem with anything, Get control of it now while you can, while you still feel you're, you're relatively um, um, able to. Um, I know it hurts. I know it's uncomfortable to discuss a lot of things, especially with... It's uncomfortable to discuss things with family. But with a stranger, I find, you know what? You're able to open up more. Okay? Because they don't know you. Okay? They can't go, even if, even if you're talking about it, like, even if a stranger's talking about it, you know what? Whatever, um, my patient or my client um, is experiencing whatever or experienced whatever in her life, and I was able to get her through it. They don't know me, whereas a family member, I always thought, A, that they would talk about me. It would spread through the grapevine to other family members, and they'd say, oh, you know what, what uh, she's been through, or can you believe what's happened, or don't you feel sorry for her? Mm. Yeah. What would you say is the most important thing that you learn in achieving your success with me? I have control. Mm. I have control. I have control of, of my thoughts. I have control of my body. I can get through anything. Yeah, and you did that for me, Luke. 
Honestly, I can't thank you enough. No, thank you. Is, is there anything I forgot to ask you or that you wanted to say? Okay. Is it okay if I read this? Sure. Because I didn't want to miss this, uh, to miss saying this, but I would definitely recommend to you Luke Michael Howard to anyone experiencing any kind of issue. You're a great listener. And I feel so much better after our sessions. Um, I can deal with any challenge that I face because of what you taught me. And you're a kind, warm, understanding and patient guy. And anyone would be, I am honored to call you my friend. Wow. Thank you. That's awesome. You're welcome. T that's, we're good? You said we're everything good. you to <laughs> Lovely. I know, I know you made yeah. some I want to, didn't want to make sure I didn't cut you off if you had more to say. Well, thank you, Tina, for telling everyone about your experience and uh, look forward to, to helping you more going forward be the best version of you. I've been Luke Michael Howard from Luke Gnosis Hypnosis. Always believe.